our finances, uh, and, and I'm, not, I'm not necessarily talking about the church, I'm talking about uh, and, and us, our families, and, and I, I believe there's people here tonight that you need a breakthrough in your life. And there's something, something about breakthroughs that I, I, I want you to, and you, you realize this, I know that you realize this because sometimes waiting for a breakthrough to take place is very exhausting. It's very tiring to wait for a breakthrough. And sometimes we feel like giving up. Sometimes we feel like that there's no hope, that God's not listening, that our prayers hit the ceiling and prop right back down and then it land up on the pew or wherever we're praying at. A, waiting for a breakthrough from the Lord is very tiring. But I know that God gives strength to the weary. Amen? He does. Psalm chapter 30 verse 5 says this, For his anger endures but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Sometimes there's a long break in between the night and morning. Sometimes that, that distance between that time frame, between the morning, uh, the night, and, 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 to the, and, to, and to morning, it, sometimes it can be a long time. <laughs> sometimes it can be too long. But I'm telling you, God will give you strength. He'll give you endurance. He'll give you perseverance. He'll give you the, he'll give you the, the, the oomph that you need. <laughs> However you spell that. <laughs> you can't spell, spell it without spitting. But he'll give you that oomph that you need. He'll give you that go-to. But you've got to rely on him. You've got to concentrate on him. So I'm talking about specifically tonight, the battle before the breakthrough. Amen. The Bible tells us that our walk with God is going to be a journey of ups and downs. It is. We're not promised after we get saved, after we accept Christ as our personal Savior, we're not promised that life is going to be a bed of roses. We're not promised that, that it's going to, everything's going to be hunky-dory. In fact, that's when the enemy, a lot of times, steps up the attack. And really, if you want to know the truth, the enemy is always on the prowl. It doesn't matter if you're serving God or not. He's always on the prowl, but, it just, but, it just, uh, but you start noticing it more. When you become a child of God and you start trying to live for God, you start noticing the attacks of the enemy. And so it seems, like the, it seems like the enemy does step up his attack, but really he's attacking you all along. He's holding you down. It's just that we're noticing it. You see, because sin blinds you. Sin blinds you to the, to the reality of what's taking place. And so when that, when that blindfold comes off and you start to see life as what it really is, we start noticing the good and the bad. We notice what the enemy's doing. We notice that what's happening to us is not lining up with the Word of God. And so it seems like the enemy is really hitting us. Friend, that's a battle that, we, uh, that every one of us face. I don't care how long you've been a Christian. I don't care how, how, uh, if, you've, if you've ever been a Christian or not. That's a battle that every, uh, that every person faces. In the, uh, we, we continually, I'm telling you friends, we are continually moving from strength to strength, from victory to victory, from glory to glory. However, I want to tell you this. In between the mountaintops of victory, in between the mountaintops of victory, are the valleys of the shadow of death. We always face, there's always a valley in between the victories. We've got to know that. We've got to understand that going into our relationship with God. But it's ever that much more that as the strong, as the strong in Christ, they'll continue to get stronger, friends. Keep moving on towards God. Keep pressing on towards the Lord. In between the victories are our struggles. Are the, their, their struggles. In between the breakthroughs, there's going to be battles. And most of the time, the devil knows how close we are to the border of our new land before we even realize how close we are. 
The devil knows more about our strengths than we do a lot of times. The enemy knows more about what God wants to do for his people than a lot of times God's people knows. And before every new breakthrough, there's, there is a harder battle than ever before being fought. It seems like every new level, there, there, there ends up being a new devil. You know it? <laughs> every new level that we hit, every new mountain that we go to, it seems like there's a new devil in that valley waiting for us ahead of time. Right, right at the point of a breakthrough, there's a battle that's got to be fought. And it's the, it, it's the job of the enemy of our souls to get us to turn back when the struggle, uh, during the struggle, when the, when the heat starts turning up. It's the job of the enemy to get us to surrender during the battle so that we'll never experience a breakthrough in our lives. But I'm telling you tonight, it may look like things are breaking up. It may look like things are not turning out the way that, they, that you thought that they would turn out. But actually, we're going to be breaking through. It may look like things are breaking up, but actually we're going to break through. It may look like we're going to die in a struggle, but we're getting ready to step over some walls. I believe God wants to break through some things for you tonight. I believe that without a shadow of a doubt. I believe that God wants to break through some things in my life tonight. Every one of us have situations in our life that we need a breakthrough in. I, I can almost guarantee that. A breakthrough. But you know what we do? And I know this is a highly unexpected sermon because, because a lot of times we're, we're, we're just now hitting. We're going to start hitting the summer slump. The summer slump. Mm, people go on vacation. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. I, people go on vacations. We're going to be going on vacations. Like pff, last week, I had somebody come up to me and, and, and ask me what church I tried out at last week because I was gone. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I didn't try out at any church last week. I was at a cemetery last week. <laughs> eating, <laughs> eating at the cemetery. I ate lunch at the cemetery last week. All of our family, this was, it was a big family reunion. In fact, let me just say something. Those of you who remember, especially on the deacon board, we actually talked to the deacon board last year on Memorial Day weekend, on that Saturday of Memorial Day weekend. And after that, they, they wanted us to try out that very next Sunday. But we couldn't because we had that family reunion to go to. And it's so very important. In fact, today marks, marks exactly June the 7th of 2000. Marks 15 years of my wife's brother's death. It was killed in a car accident 15 years ago today. And it was at that cemetery that we went to, um, that we were at, at that family reunion, the dec slash decoration at, at that cemetery, was the last time that we saw him on that weekend Rochelle had just had Caden in fact she was in the hospital uh, with mastitis and when we got word and, and the doctors released her and little did we know that we saw him at that cemetery and little did we know a week later we would all be gathering back there for his funeral at the last place that we saw him But no, we didn't try out at the church. And it's also today to the Sunday is actually one year of when we tried out. So it's actually after this service last year, y'all would have been voting on us. And so uh, you can sit back in your mind today some of you might be thinking, boy, I sure am glad that we voted him in. Some of you might be thinking, boy, I wish we wouldn't have voted him in. 
No, those are the people that aren't here, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm teasing. <clears throat> Praying for a breakthrough. Every one of us have things that we need to break through in our lives. Every, every one of us. I do. We need some breakthroughs. And it's these summer months that sometimes we get so relaxed and thinking that, oh, it's summertime, it's a summer slump, nobody's here, or, you know, people are gone, the numbers are down, this, that, the other, whatever, whatever you're thinking in, in, in mind, you know, it's, it's vacation time, but I'm telling you, friends, God doesn't take a vacation during the summertime. He's not out at the lake during the summertime. <laughs> He's not... <laughs> He's not, on the, he's not on the razor climbing the hills during the summertime. He's at work inside of our lives. And I'm telling you, he can, he can move forward. You're cracking me up, man. <laughs> he can move forward and break through any, and, and cause any type of breakthrough in your life. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. It doesn't matter if it's Christmas time. It doesn't matter if it's summertime. If it's in the winter time, he's still on call. He's still ready and able and willing to do what we need inside of our lives. But we've got to persevere. We've got to push forward in that breakthrough. Amen. It may look like we're going to die in the struggle, but we've got to get ready to step over these walls, friend. We've got to get ready to move forward. It may look like you're going to perish in the night and be swept away on a river of tears, but I want you to just hold on because morning is on the way, my friends. Morning is on the way. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, it says this, And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, we will reap if we do not faint. Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we will reap if we do not faint. Friends, those of you that are looking for a breakthrough in your life, those of you that are needing a change inside of your life, maybe in your finances or in your marriage or whatever the case may be, I'm just throwing out examples, but you know the areas in your life where you may need, you, you may need God to just Pinpoint down. It may be a struggle in your life. It may be a situation inside of your family with your kids that you need a breakthrough on. You need to hear from God. Our friends, don't be weary. Don't give up. Don't, don't, take, for, don't, don't take for granted or, or, uh, or, 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 or just uh, uh, think that God is on vacation because it's summertime. Don't just think that. God is always at work, but we got to push towards him. I believe some people need a breakthrough in their life tonight. The word of God says where two or three are gathered together in his name, there he is in the midst of them. I don't care if there's three people here, if there's 100 people here, 50 people here, 20 people here, whatever the case may be. I'm telling you right now, tonight, there's more than two or three here tonight gathered together in his name. And the word of God tells me that he's right there in the midst of us. Amen. And where he is, there is fullness of joy. Amen. Hallelujah. Where he is, there is fullness of joy. So you can have joy in your present situation. You can have joy in your marriage. You can have joy in your finances when your bills are coming through, coming due. You can have joy in the midst of your storm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I want to read that verse of scripture again. Galatians 6, 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, we will reap if we do not faint. Friends, I'm telling you right now, don't faint. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't retreat. Don't turn your back upon God. Don't turn right. Don't turn left. Don't do a U-turn. Just keep pressing forward. Keep moving towards, pressing towards the mark. Pressing towards the goal. And let God do something miraculous in your life. Don't take a break. Don't take a break this summer season on God. Because God's not taking a break. Amen? 
sometimes we get in the summer, we get in this summer mindset. And this is what I'm, or I'm urging you not to get into, okay? Don't get in the summer mindset that, 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 that vacations are here and, 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 and we just go through the motions of church. We go through the motions of our relationship. We've got to keep pressing on, my friends. Keep pressing on towards God. I'm telling you, God can send a revival inside your life when you least expect it. God can send a revival in the middle of the summer, in the middle of the winter. He can change your circumstance no matter what time of the day, no matter where you're at. God is in control. Amen? Amen. You got to keep fighting. This is just the battle, my friends, before the breakthrough. How many of you need a breakthrough in your life? Amen. How many of you need a breakthrough? Will you bow your heads with me tonight? I want to get right into this. I believe that God's, that there's, a, there's a 